What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're going to do part three of our camper upgrade builds. Um, today we're going to be tackling the uh, sliding bench. I got, um, I had all the other stuff filmed, the tearing down of the cabinet, but my SD card apparently took crap on me, so I don't have any of that anymore. But pretty basic stuff. Just very carefully took the paneling off and um took some measurements beforehand took the paneling off and uh took the back the back of it's still intact it's back here laying on a sheet of plywood um but we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to that but i did set up this will be my spread for the bench the full width here like i said i had a, a video laying it all out and everything i didn't want to redo all this so um but i just did the full width of the bench um from the wall to the outside edge and then the original paneling is gonna ride right here and hopefully when we get done it'll look just like the bench did before um anything happened so but we're gonna start putting the slides on right now Beans that I've got this all set up, so uh, here we go. So I got two small pieces of half inch plywood that I'm just going to use for a spacer to keep keep my slides up off the ground, and then I'm going to bring um, the slide all the way to the back, maybe. I don't know. I could probably get, leave it in about a half inch from the back. I have to get another little piece here. Okay, so I found a piece. It's actually a piece of three quarter, but I, it's almost a half inch this way. So I'll just use it as a spacer off the back. And it really doesn't matter as long as we use the same stuff for both sides. So I'm just going to flush this up with the back edge. Make sure I'm on my spacers off the floor. And then make a few marks. A couple marks here. And then we'll do the farthest one back. And these, I will say, did not come with any hardware. So you're going to have to either order some that come with it. Or if you're like me, you have a junk drawer full of crap. So that's kind of what I'm tapping into right now is my junk drawer full of crap. Um, we'll do this on this side and we'll re just repeat the same thing. So we're going to be using, um, this is just half inch, uh, AC plywood. Um, it's pretty nice on the top. You can see where they've um, footballed out some of the knots that were in it. I don't know what else to call it. It's just a football shaped plug. But um, This is what we'll use for the cabinet. I'm going to put the good side in because the outside is still going to be the original paneling. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Oh, here it is. I saved the original paneling pieces. So those will be on the outside face. Um, but we're just going to do some lay, do some layout on this, take some measurements, um, at least to build the bottom shelf. And then the rest of it is just kind of like two sheets of plywood or two pieces of plywood front and back. Um, pretty straightforward, really. Um, if you know how to build a drawer, 
this isn't much different um, if you don't know how to build a drawer this is pretty much how you build a drawer um, to build a drawer in a cabinet don't ask me on that one I'm not a cabinet maker by any means but um, if you're just building it from scratch this is pretty much the basic way to do it but um, I'll do some layout on this uh, piece of plywood and then cut it up with my circular saw and then we'll start putting it back together I did have to take the framework apart off of the bench just so I could cut this and then uh, we'll stick it back up here that way everything's stationary like it'll be in the camper and we'll get building it and stick it back in the camper uh, I don't think I'm gonna stain anything the inside is probably just going to be raw. We may do some uh, shelf paper or whatever in there that matches the rest of the stuff in the cam in the camper, um, just to, for ease of cleanup, I guess. Uh, and then, the, like I said, the outside is going to be that uh, stock paneling. But uh, I'm going to do some layout on this. Straighten my camera up a little bit. And then we'll start building.
Okay, so this has pretty much completed the box itself. Um, I am going to start putting these veneer pieces on, but you can see there's still staples in the back. I'm going to have to pull the staples out real carefully. But this one came off of there, so I'm going to put it right back on there, and I'm going to probably trim like an eighth inch off the bottom so it's got room to slide. And then we're going to take this front panel, which actually came off here as well, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll probably cut an eighth inch off the bottom. It's still got staples in it as well. Um, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to pull out because they're so small and they'll actually tear that veneer. I'm going to call it veneer because it's like a sticker, but um, this plywood is like, I don't know, 3 16 maybe. And it really tears out kind of terribly. But we're gonna put the, the panels back on the sides and then the big panel on the back of it again. And this side will be against the wall, this one. So um, I won't need anything here. And then we'll put them um, bumpers or whatever that hold the uh, table in for whenever you make it into a bed. I don't think we're gonna plan on making it into a bed ever, but I wanna have them on there just in case we do. So um, I'm gonna get to pulling these staples. I probably won't even film it, it's so boring. Um, but, and then I'm just gonna take, lay it out here and notch it around this stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to drill a, a big slot right there. That way it's not a huge notch. But the back of it, I will have to cut a big notch in it so the whole panel can come past. This just needs a hole for the, the handle. And like I said, I think I'm going to paint these black. I think it'll look a lot better. Um, but this is the construction of the box. I'd put measurements in here, but I really feel like every one of them is going to be just a little bit different. I can give you some close measurements or the measurements that mine were, but really it's irrelevant because yours may be a half inch bigger or half inch shorter. Um, the consistency in the builds isn't there. Uh, it's not there enough for me to give you dimensions. So. Um, like I said, I'll just trim these two panels off at eighth inch once I pull these staples out, and then we'll put them we'll put them on because they can be on permanently. Same thing with the back; it can get fastened to, uh, and uh, that should be it. I am gonna put this in in this episode, so or on this video. So some of the stuff I haven't really installed, I just build it and kind of put it in there. But this one I'm going to install. That way I know if it works or not right now. So um, pull the staples and uh, cut these panels down and attach them. You probably won't see any of it because it's not really exciting stuff. So.
So you can see how um, the panel is going to go around. This is going to have to be painted probably dark brown to match um, the under storage cabinets that we made in the last episode. I got them both notched, but I think I'm going to attach both these pieces to the back, especially this one. This is the one that's on the outside um, that you'll see, but I'll just slide this panel back and attach that probably just with two staples after I get it in um, because these are going to be my mounting screws. If they ever ask you if you want stern sticks when you get paint, always get them because you never know when you need like an eighth inch shim. These are like almost exactly one eighth inch. So, and that's what I've spaced it off the floor with. So these have been pretty handy on this project. All right, so I got it hauled in to the camper. Um, the important measurement to when you're putting this back together is the distance from from this bench to this bench. Um, my table measures 29 inches across. Actually, it measures 28 and 7 eighths. I'm putting this at 29. That'll get me just a little bit more room. Um, but I still have that um, front panel to put back on. I had to take it off so I could get my screws out up from my bench. Uh, but that is probably the most important measurement that you're going to have to keep in mind is the the size of your table that way it'll sit right back in there uh whenever you go to put this back together and then you want to put the table down to sleep on or make a bed out of or whatever um, but i'm gonna put my four screws in the corners make sure it slides and doesn't interfere with anything i think this knob right here is going to be in the way um we'll see maybe maybe not so, um, here we go. Well, thanks for following us along. Uh, another successful project down. Um, Quite a few more to go, but we have till about April. I think we got a camping trip booked in April, so hopefully I can get all this stuff done by then. Uh, work schedule's been crazy and all that good stuff. Life's happening, um, but we love it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for all the notifications, and give us a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.